Alright guys, just wanted to do a little clip of the rabbit since they're sitting right there. Um, yeah, there's a rabbit just chilling. And when we go over here, I mean, I got the mice set up right there, the breeder mice. There are some babies. I don't know if you can see that or not. Yeah, there they're all chilling right there. And then the winter mice. There's a bunch of them in there. Some are going to be food. Some are going to be breeders. And then I got this, guys. Boom. Boom. Completely built. And yeah, guys, I'm sorry I didn't make the video sooner. Or I, I said I would. And all the materials and everything, it's just um, I had a cracked tooth that did not hurt whatsoever. I had it for two months, and finally I just got it taken care of just to get it taken care of. And they gave me a big-ass shot back in the uh, main nerve in the mouth, which numbed my upper neck and my whole head drilled some down and I mean I was just in horrible pain I was doing I was feeling like crap so yeah I finally got a build and you guys can see this tiny little doorway and I pulled the rack in and when I pulled it in I uh, got stuck in here I couldn't move it in or out because it got stuck on these door stoppers right here so yeah I got stuck and I was stuck in here for about 20 minutes finally I kicked those off pulled it out and got in here. I honestly thought these things were going to be a lot smaller than they were, but they're big, heavy, and you know, uh, we're expanding the rodent room. We're taking out this wall and we're going to expand it to make it about five times. So instead of this wide, this skinny area, plus this up there, I and mean, we're going to take we're going to take this whole thing out and extend it for maybe up to six times as large and about eight feet longer, just to make some space. But all right. I was a little worried because the bins, they had they have the rounded lips, like on this lip, it's not completely straight, so the sliders were hard to make perfect, and so I was just worried for the first day that some of the uh, uh, wieners were going to get out, but they're all in their cages and doing good. See the food, water bottle, still got to get the water system set up, but this room's too small to do that, and just using their old bottles until I get around to it which took me all day to do all this because there's a few other things we had to do including get the tanks out, make space and do all that stuff but yeah, got the breeder, this is the breeder group number three of rats, or rat group, rat breeding group number three and this guys is uh, rat breeding group number one these are the first ones and as you can see, you can see some babies back there there's not really that many babies and then the second breeding group of rats finally had some babies of their own and this is breeding group number two so right now I have three groups it's gonna be kinda hard to see the babies they're just really small but there's some in there there's a couple litters they're doing good and big bins I honestly thought these bins were half the size and then since the bin lip right there I wasn't sure if the rat pups can squeeze through that area it's not really that big. I mean, they didn't squeeze through it, but still, you know, I'm not uh, taking any chances. But as you can see, the winter rats. Let's see if you can get those guys out of there. And there we go. As you can see, got some winter rats. Didn't really want to touch them since I didn't have my gloves on get nasty and then I got touch snakes but there we go we got 18 wieners in here right now and I still gotta feed nine snakes plus get some big rats for the adults but you know there we go some little rats some small rats just still got wean here's the smallest ones but I love the racks guys this one right here this one's nice I don't know what the deal is. These things like to nibble on you just to taste you. But yeah, there they are. I don't know, guys. I love these racks and just pulling them in, pushing them in, getting them back out. Boom. Makes everything so much easier and it looks cool. I still got that bottom bin and this bin. So I got one, two, three, four, plus that and that. It's going to be kind of a long video, but we're also going to build another one that instead of one of these bins is going to have two for mice, 
which is going to be a little bit more precise and we're going to cut the lips as you can see the space right here and I cut the lips so these things sit more evenly and up and I mean I use this quarter inch mesh and still the baby mice or small mice can get out of that so that's also why I don't want to put them in there but I still I spent 30 bucks on a roll of that and that will cover two racks um, I my dad he runs a landscape and construction business and I got all the wooden stuff for free and I spent 30 bucks on the bins and we had the air compressed and staple gun screwdriver or power drill and all that stuff so all together the rack really for one rack only cost me about 50 bucks and we got a lot of wood I mean a lot of two by fours and two by sixes that could cut down to make this stuff but I mean looks nice it works really well and I am stop I'm, I mean I'm still a little nervous that the wieners might get out but still, I, I'm, that just makes that just means to make sure to keep them with their moms for enough time. But still, guys, I got some pregnant mice, got some pregnant rats, some baby mice, baby rats, wieners, getting more getting raised up. And I have the I, I'm grabbing the bins and we're gonna build another one of these just to put it in the other end of the room until we get the other th uh, until we get the room made bigger. <clears throat> but still, be a lot more of these. Plus, we're gonna make some three or four bin that hold like 74 quart bins, like tall 74 quarts for holder bins and all that stuff. But I had some people wanting to know how to breed rats. Oh yeah, before I forget, Reptile Boy H. I've been talking to him. I want to give him a shout out. He's a really cool kid, into reptiles. And I know I've talked to him and like I talked to a few people, but there's really only a couple people I talk to and actually like become friends with. I mean, you all probably know what that's like. And, you know, he's a really cool kid and a reptile, started breeding mice. And, yeah, check his video out, Reptile Boy H. And there were people who want to know how to breed rats and mice. And, honestly, it's as simple as food, water, male, one male, and anywhere from one to ten females. Honestly, I would say keep it around one to five females and give them 12 hours of light, 12 hours of darkness and just leave them alone as much as possible, clean the cages, give them water and food on a regular basis and then you will have them all in a group with little tiny babies in there can't really see any babies but here once you do that one male and a few females leave them together, leave them alone and in a few weeks they'll get pregnant and three more weeks after that they will have babies and it is your choice you can take the ma or you can take the male from the females and that will get the moms a break while they're having the babies or I just keep them together so as soon as she gives birth the male gets her pregnant again and uh, there's babies another three or four weeks after her litter is weaned so it's, a, it's consistently there's consistently babies and that's Muffin, Muffin's still kicking she doesn't really breed but she's there to help the mothers out and I, I can't feed Muffin or kill her. I mean, Matt, Muffin's my pet. I love her. Muffin, my little pet. Got to make sure none of the other rats bite me. But I don't know. Muffin. Muffin, wake up. All right. I was just making sure she's all right. But as you can see, the baby's back there. And yeah, just put a male with some females. 12 hours of light, 12 hours of dark. Leave them alone unless it's clean their cages or something. And you will have babies. And... Honestly, for your first few litters and the rat's first few litters, just leave the babies alone for the first four to seven days until the mothers get used to having the babies. Because a lot of new moms, if you mess with them or make them stressed, they'll just abandon the babies. And with breeding mice, same exact thing, but don't touch the babies. I don't know what it is, but I touch all my babies from the day they're born, and they don't eat them but they do eat them. My first few litters and when I started back up the first few litters they killed all the babies. So just leave the mice babies alone for the first two weeks because after two weeks if the mothers abandon them, the little two week old they have their eyes open, teeth will bite you and they can fend for themselves. But alright guys I gotta feed some snakes in a little bit so I will see you soon. Alright one more time shout out to Reptile Boy H. Alright thanks guys.